Well, good day, everyone. In this short video, I would like to discuss damaged threads, both on screws as well as stripped threads in the plates, and uh, some different techniques used to correct those problems. When the threads in the plates are stripped out and can no longer hold screws in, what really needs to happen is a slightly larger screw needs to be inserted in there and uh, that will reform the threads in the plates. One of the techniques used by some watchmakers is to take the given screw that should be there and flattening the very end of it, thus making the tip of the screw wider. Now, while this technique does work some, um, it is a technique that I really cannot recommend and do not recommend because you're damaging the screw and the threads in the screw do not remain sharp, but they become rounded if you look at them really close under magnification. And so as you force that screw into the plate, you are not making good threads or you're not sharpening the threads that are in the plate. Uh, it's really not the best solution. Now I use a couple different techniques to correct the, the problem of stripped plates and damaged threads. If I have a screw that has damaged threads or a screw that doesn't have well-formed threads. The profile is rounded and um, the threads are not very sharp. What I like to do is with a, th a thread plate try to reform the threads. Um, if I can be successful in raising the outside diameter of those threads by a mere let's say three hundredths of a millimeter that very well may be sufficient to hold the screw in the plate and in turn reform the threads in the plate. Something else I do, usually in conjunction with reforming the threads on the screw, is using the concave punch in the staking set, I try to push the, the brass metal surrounding the threaded hole in the plate, push it towards the center and towards the hole, thus um, shrinking the size of the hole. There again, we only need maybe two or three hundredths of a millimeter movement. There are some people that might use a round nose punch as opposed to the concave punch. The problem with this is that the, con uh, the round nose punch will only bend a very small lip at the very edge or the top of the hole inward towards the hole, where if you use a concave punch, you'll get more metal being pushed in towards the hole. And with the 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 hole slightly smaller and the screw threads just slightly larger, you get a better situation where you can use the, the slightly larger threads on the screw to farm uh, better threads in the hole uh, on the plate and get your positive connection and positive grab between the two. The third and by far the best technique, if, if at all possible, to pursue is simply by replacing the damaged screw. And this is where having a good assortment of old used screws is valuable. And in the course of time, uh, any given watchmaker should uh, make an effort to accumulate a, an, a large assortment of screws that you can go through. And 
what I try to look for is a, is a screw that has the same thread pitch in that it has the same amount of threads per per millimeter or per, per um, centimeter, the same number of threads, and you can match that up to the old screw, but then uh, a screw that only has about five hundredths of a millimeter larger diameter than the original screw. That's all you need. In the previous method, when you're forming better threads and you're closing the screw hole, you're only looking for a difference, a total difference of five hundredths of a millimeter. And in this technique where you're replacing the screw, you only need about five hundredths of a millimeter um, difference between the original screw and the new screw. Um, that is sufficient. If you use a screw that had ten hundredths of a millimeter in diameter larger, it would be too much and, and it would be difficult to reform the threads in the plate. But five hundredths of a millimeter is very doable. And so if you can find that screw that is just barely larger, um, then it's simply a matter of turning the screw in, in the lathe and reforming the head of the screw so it matches the original the shape of the original screw and so it looks original well that's it for this video I hope you found it helpful and in my next video coming out in a couple weeks hopefully I plan to show you the full service of this pocket watch, the musical pocket watch. So stay tuned for that. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.